we're here hopefully to make a big difference. Nick and I have been giving to many charities over the years. We travelled to Uganda with Comic Relief and that was phenomenal. Comic Relief raised all this money but it was how they spent the money that was most amazing to me. It's so simple, it's a tiny little plastic, you know, it would look like nothing on a coffee table, but it's a test for malaria. So it was just amazing to see entire communities changing, being saved, have a future. Nick and I have been sort of haphazardly um, giving to a lot of different charities. David Beckham Seven, Rays of Sunshine, um, things have come up over the years that we've really been touched by, I think now we just want to get more organised and strategic and that's why we want to start our own foundation. So we decided to set up a foundation to put proper structure to what we're doing rather than it just being ad hoc, actually back some of these charities for a long period of time. I think our common denominator is usually children because they're the most innocent, defenceless and often helpless people on the planet and if we can get in early they are then hopefully going to have a future. I believe we have a moral obligation to help others that aren't as lucky as ourselves. So the foundation is going to be 100% funded by myself and Holly initially as we have done to date. At some point we'd like to fundraise as well. We've got an incredible network of friends and people that we know who I think um, will definitely get behind the work we're doing. The Candy Foundation has now uh, given two grants out. Our first grant to the Children's Trust is going to be providing piped medical oxygen. 10% of the kids there are on 24-hour oxygen support. So this is going to make that a lot easier. Every room will have it and it's at everybody's beck and call the second they need it. When I first went there a number of years ago, it, was, it really touched my heart. I saw a lot of young kids with brain injuries. 60% of those children were born absolutely fine and they've had an accident to give them a brain injury. It's British, people come from all over the world to use it and it's just a powerhouse in brain rehabilitation. So the second grant we gave is to Disability Rights International in the US. Holly's been supporting them for 14 years. Uh, in fact, a few months ago she got an award for over a decade's worth of service for them. They go and see children in, in institutions disabled and often not disabled that are shut away in the middle of nowhere that nobody knows about and they create these reports and they send them out into the world afterwards and they are essentially shamed governments into changing laws and changing legislation to protect the rights of these children. I've been to both Serbia and Georgia for Disability Rights International and it was probably one of the most hardest things I've ever had to see as a human being. I've stood in some pretty big hell holes that are no longer up and running anymore. They're closed down. So knowing that just I can sleep a little bit better at night. The thing that we look for when looking to give a grant is effectiveness. It's nice to have the tangible, I can see this, feel this change and difference to a facility. It's brilliant, but the knock-on effect is, you know, children are surviving because of that. I hope in years to come we will network with other philanthropists across the world because together we're more powerful. Many minds together is going to be a lot more effective and having um, communication and everybody doing what they're strong at. When I do things in business, we, we make an investment into a company because we believe that company will one day be successful and be able to return something to, to us. And when we do something in the foundation, we make an investment yeah, it's because we want to make a difference and we want to see a tangible outcome. There's so many fantastic people out there doing wonderful things. We should all know about each other and do things for the greater good together.